Hey, hey guys, what's going on? August Young here, DocSports.com. Going to be doing the NBA rundown here for Friday, October 25th. Going to dive right into it. So let's go with Philadelphia 76ers at the Toronto Raptors. Now, Philadelphia laying five and a half total at 220. Rough outing for the Sixers in their first game of the season. Uh, they struggled without PG and Joel Embiid, losing by double digits at home to the Bucks. They'll be without both again here. Toronto looked awful in the opening game versus Cleveland. Hard to back either team in this spot. I'm going to fade the move in the market with so many unknowns and grab the dog side. Toronto at plus five and a half. Brooklyn Nets at the Orlando Magic. You have the Magic laying 12 and a half. Total at 216. I'm surprised to see the Nets compete the way they did versus Atlanta uh, as seven-point underdogs. But then again, this is the Hawks that continue to be one of the worst cover teams in the league dating back to last season. These guys just cannot cover spreads. Now, Orlando smoked the heat on the road. They look great. They look very good on both ends of the floor. Small lean, small lean with Orlando here at minus 12 and a half. I feel what they did in their first game is more repeatable, whereas I still don't trust this Nets team to do much. Now, moving on, Indiana Pacers at the New York Knicks. The Knicks laying four and a half, total at 226 and a half. New York did not show up at all in their opening game versus Boston. Obviously, the Celtics, though, are as good as they come. Just beat down on Washington as well. 20-point uh, win last night. Cash the free pick there. Now, their defense looks horrible when it comes to the Knicks. Not sure if it should be uh, laying points at all here against an Indiana team that can seriously score. Pace is being undervalued in the market after struggling versus the Pistons, but they still did pull it off down the stretch and got the cover. Um, so... Yeah, going to lean with Indiana here. Now let's get to Detroit Pistons, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs laying 11, total at 228.5. Cleveland looked unstoppable in the first game of the season at Toronto. Now back here in their home opener, really talented team. I really like the offensive sets they were running in that game. Now Detroit played hard versus Indiana. Hard to read that one, as I mentioned before. Hard to read if that was more of good play from Toronto or the Pacers just playing, um, sorry, Detroit or just the Pacers playing a poor game. Poor game. Cavs only 2-6 and six on the season. Last season as double-digit home favorites. It's a point in the season it's hard to trust anything that we've seen yet. The market can definitely overreact. I'm going to say there's some small value here on Detroit at plus 11. Now the Charlotte Hornets at the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks laying five here, total at 226. As mentioned earlier, this team just cannot cover spreads. Horrific ATS numbers dating back to last season. Now both teams did win their season openers. Some solid data showing the under is a good play when two undefeated teams play early in the season. So we're going to ride with that here and take the under at 226 and a half moving on to memphis grizzlies at the houston rockets rockets laying three and a half at home total at 224 i do have a premium play going on this one at four unit so unable to provide detailed information now if you want access to my premium nba card for today which does feature two picks you can get it absolutely free if you're not already a client of doc sports by clicking the link down below in the description get your free 60 dollar account and use that towards my nba picks absolutely free with no obligation Moving on to the next game, Chicago Bulls at the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks laying nine here, total at 235. Chris Middleton is still out for Milwaukee. Both Giannis and Brooke Lopez listed as probable. Have to keep an eye on that if anything changes, obviously. But I do disagree with the early money and the move on Chicago, pushing this line down to single digits. I think they really have their hands full here trying to keep this one within single digits. They, they couldn't do it in New Orleans and now heading to Milwaukee for their home opener on a one-game turnaround for Chicago. Uh, you know, one day turnaround that is Bucks at minus nine. That's going to be the free play here. Now, Golden State Warriors at the Utah Jazz. Warriors laying four on the road, total at 20, uh, 232.5. Uh, going to have a premium section on this one as well, which has been released. Uh, you can get that at Doc Sports by clicking that link down below, as mentioned, for your free $60 account. Absolutely free, no obligation. You can get my free NBA picks for today. Moving on to the Phoenix Suns and at the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers laying one and a half here, the total at 226.5. Hard to lean aside at the current price. I do slightly lean with Los Angeles, but I don't want any piece of them here after the home win and likely being overvalued in this home home spot to start the season. Both teams coming off wins, and as mentioned earlier, I do have a solid under trend when it comes to focusing on winning teams early in the season to the under. So we're going to dive on that as well and take the under at 226.5. Now getting to the final game, guys. New Orleans Pelicans at the Portland Trailblazers. Pelicans laying 5.5 on the road, total at 218.5. DeJounte Murray is out for this one, and obviously Zion is currently listed as probable. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But I expect the Pels to completely roll here if Zion does play. Portland just allowed the Warriors to hang 140 on him. Also, the market is overvaluing this away away spot for the Pels, like it's some kind of dead spot. However, data literally shows at this early in the season, it just does not matter. In fact, teams going away away to start the season, they're actually 52.3% against the spread. So 
They've been covering more often than not. Uh, it's overvalued now. New Orleans at minus five and a half is going to be the free play here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Quick fire NBA. And I will be back tomorrow, Saturday, October 26th with another NBA rundown. This is August Young at DocSports.com.